What's going on everybody? It's Carvine from Barmine Tech and today we have another video. Uh, we're going to be working with Jellyfin once again and we're going to be adding Jelly Sear to our collection of our home lab for our Jellyfin server. And before I get asked about the big background in the back, uh, we're having a little bit of a party this weekend so we start decorating early. But yeah, see, you know, you'll see a couple things up in the background. Just want to get that out of the way before the uh, comments come through. Oh, you know. So yeah, but um, we're going to be working with Jelly Sear today, and it's similar to how I used Ombi with Plex in a few videos ago, how we had the request server, is that Jelly Sear is the same way, it's another request server that you could use for Jellyfin, you can link it with your radar and sonar, and you make a Discord webhook, and you can make accounts for your friends to go on there, and they can go through, and they can look through all movies and TV shows, and make requests for different things they might want. So... Instead of just keep talking about it, let's get right into it. We're going to set up Jelly Sear, and I'm going to show you all about it. So let's get right into it. So if you remember a few videos where we made this Jellyfin server, I showed you all about that, how to make add it, make some media with it, and all this. Of course, we brought back a Docker and Portainer, and we're going to be using that for Jelly Sear. Here's the Jelly Sear container. It's in the Pi hosted uh, app template, which of course we always use. And if you're interested, there is the GitHub, which I'll comment below. But this is Jelly Sear. Gives you a little description, and if you want to install it a different way, instead of using Docker, we're going to use Docker because it's the easiest method, but Jelly Sear is a free and open source software uh, for managing requests for your media library. It's pretty much the easiest part to understand. It's forked off of Overseer, and they have a whole team that works on it. There's a Discord for support if you run into issues, but you can see it has a nice interface. And uh, yeah, let's stop talking about it, and let's just get right into setting up Jelly Sear. So... We're going to come over to the app template. I already searched Jelly, so I filter some of the stuff out. And here's Jelly Sear. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to deploy the container. And while this deploys, we are going to talk about some other stuff. So we actually need to incorporate radar and sonar with this. So Jelly Sear, of course, is going to make it so when somebody makes a request, it's going to try to get you new media. And... Uh, it's going to try to download that if available. So you do need to have radar and sonar configured for this. So if somebody does make a request, they could actually it could try to get it for you. And now Jelly Sear is all installed, so we're going to open that up. But you do need a run-in instance of radar and sonar. I'm not going to go over how to set that up in this video. You can just go back to my Plex radar sonar video. It's the same idea. You're just going to link it to Jellyfin instead of this time but it's the same idea so let's just get right into jelly sear so when you open jelly sear for the first time you need to link it to your actual jellyfin server so we're gonna you're gonna get a page similar to this and I'm gonna sign in and I want to use my jellyfin account so we're gonna get the URL for our jellyfin server so I already have that up so I'm just gonna come in over here and grab it and I'm also gonna grab it with the port number so I'm gonna put that in there we're going to use the credentials we have for our Jellyfin account. And we're going to sign in. So now it's going to work to grab libraries from your available server. So I'm just going to grab my movies real quick. And I don't want to scan it right now because I want to save some time for the video. But it would scan through when it's going to see what you have so we can back it up against what's already available so if somebody wants to make a request they don't make duplicate requests of stuff already available but the scan will run in the background normally i'm going to click continue this is where you would add your radar and sonar service i'm going to skip through this just because we're going to take care of that off the screen and now if we come in we have jelly seer so similar to how we used ombi for plex jelly seer works the same way and quickly just looking around at it before I messed with this earlier the UI does seem to be a little bit nicer than Ambi. Ambi was very kind of um, clunky and it just I, I didn't like the way it really like showed off the media but it's very similar it gives you recommended movies off of movies it gives you the information you can watch the trailer and then of course you can send the request so that's what we can see on the Discover page. We also have the movies and TV shows. And then if we keep coming down, we have the Request tab. 
So when a request comes in from a user who doesn't have access to have automatic right, um, request, it would be penned in here. So my account is the admin account. If I make my friend a regular user account that they need to make requests and I need to accept it, it would be penned in here until it's approved. We have an issues tab. I'm not really too sure what the issues are. And then of course we have users. So as we can keep going, we can have a more users. So we can just do a quick test account. Um, I'm not going to worry about that, but we can have a test account to make access, to, uh, have access to here. And then you could also import your Jellyfin account. So if you have other users on your Jellyfin account, you could just import it through here and they could use their Jellyfin account to access this. So when you come down to the user list tab, you have different options for creating users. You can create a local user or you can import from your Jellyfin server. So you can see my account's imported from Jellyfin, it, it marks it, but you can create a local or you can just keep importing your users. So if you have multiple users on your Jellyfin server, you could just do it that way. And then they'll have access to Jellyseer. Come down to settings, it is a pretty straightforward thing. It's very similar to how Ombi worked. We have just different things. We could limit our users by different factors. So if you want certain permissions to have certain things, uh, if certain users want to have certain permissions, you can limit that. So you can do it that way. I, I just like leaving things default until I find a reason to change them. Uh, here's the library. So I only have movies right now, but you would have your movies and TV shows and of course anything else that you might have in there. Jellyfin can handle music and I'm pretty sure books as well, so you could probably find a way to link that as well with the different services. Um, but that's that. And then we also have the services tab, so I didn't link radar and sonar yet, but you would do that. And then importantly, here's the notifications. So this is actually how we will work with handling our requests. I'm just going to, I don't want to use the other ones, I'll use in Discord because I think it's the easiest. So I'm going to enable the agent. I'm going to go grab a webhook and then I'll be right back. So I just went and I made a quick Discord channel and I have a webhook for it. So I'm just going to type in the rest of the information. You could use a different URL for the bot if you want to for the avatar. I don't want to. And then we just need to come in here and set up some notifications. So I'd like when pending requests are approved when their requests are approved, when they're declined, uh, when they're available. So if somebody requests something and it actually now becomes available on the server, it'll send a message. And I think that's really it. So we're going to test. So it sent a net test notification. And then here we go into Discord and we can see the notification. So we can see here's Jelly Seer and then there's the test notification that it worked. So if I come back here, I'm going to save the changes. So now when somebody comes in here and makes a request, it'll send the information. Um, these other three tabs, we don't really need to look at. It's just the logs and then some other background stuff. So I'm just going to leave that going and we're going to test out Jelly Seer. Let's make our first request. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to request Shazam. It's right here. So we can look through and if I click the request button, since I'm an admin, it's going to automatically request it. And then if I come back to Discord, it's going to send me the alert. I have it set so I get the automatic request. Uh, the automatic requests get, when they get approved, they get sent still. You're, it's another set you got to check off. But if it was a regular user, you would still have to approve it. And it would say uh, a user's requested it. And then you would have to mark it approved. And then after it's approved, it'll come back here again. And then when it's available, it'll send another notification that's available. So if you have your friends in your Discord server and they have access to this channel, they can come in here and they can see when their requests are made available and go from there. Also, now that there is a request, if I come back to the request tab, you can see here's my request. And let's say I made the request by accident. I can come back and I can delete it. And it's going to make sure I'm sure. And we'll go from there. And then I can go back and I can request another movie. So I'm just going to request this again. And now if I come back to request again, it actually gives you the information of the request and who did it. So it tells me that I requested it. I can actually click in here and I can see my user account. And we can see all the information. So I can see how many requests I've totally made. And then we can limit 
how many requests every user can make. So if you only want a user to be able to request five movies, five TV shows, that's all they could do, you can limit that in the sentence. We'll jump over here and uh, I'm get under permissions. You can limit all sorts of stuff under each user. But that's, uh, that's a little bit more than we're looking to do. So uh, that's Jelly Seer in, in a nutshell. And uh, it's a really cool program, I have to say. Looks uh, very friendly to use. It's going to actually grab all of your stuff that's already in your library. So I've already linked it to my Jellyfin server, so it sees it. And that's how it's going to make sure we don't grab doubles. So if, like, here's Ted 2. It's just going to tell me to play it on Jellyfin. And it's actually going to open up my Jellyfin server and play it there. So let's say somebody wants to go make a request, and they go request Ted 2, which I already have on my server. It's going to not let them request it. It's going to have them just play it off of there. So, it's just another little cool built-in feature that they have with Jelly Seer. So, that was just a quick run over of Jelly Seer. It's another request system that we could use for Jelly Fin. We're just working on building the ultimate budget media server. And uh, right now, we're at free 99 because uh, Jelly Fin's free, Jelly Seer's free, and there's no additional cost to using either of them. So, we're just working with it. If you're looking for a great option to stop paying for streaming services, Jellyfin is definitely a good one and you get to have all of your media internally and just grow it from there. So I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you subscribe so you just keep up to date with the new videos we're coming out with. Every week a new video comes out and I always try to make interesting content so if there's something you want to see, comment down below so I can work on getting a video made for it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.